Hey guys, this is Kevin at ChristianPhotoshops.com and today we're going to be doing a brand new Photoshop tutorial and it's going to be how to combine multiple images and uh, we're going to change out the sky, we're going to um, we're add some colors, add some dramatic effects to it and uh, we're going to use several pictures actually. The good thing is all of our pictures are available for download on our website. So if you go to ChristianPhotoshops.com and then you click on the free stock images button at the bottom um, we've got hundreds of images. You can download all of them for free and uh, practice with them, play with them, and uh, just work on your skills with them. So the first picture we're going to get, this is directly off the website, um, is this picture right here. It's just a picture of my wife on some rocks at the ocean. And then um, we got this picture of some clouds. And then we got this picture of a sunrise um, taken at the, at the beach. So those are the three pictures we're going to use. And um, I'm going to have a, a blank canvas. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring all of these pictures into that canvas. So let's start with the model image. So we're going to put her about put her about right there. I think that'll be fine. Um, I don't want to do anything completely centered. Um, I like to do the, the rule of thirds um, whenever I can. Um, so I'm going to try to put her off center, but actually. Instead of the left side, let's do the right side. So I'm just going to transform that so she's on the right side. Okay, so about right there looks fine. Now the next thing we want to do is grab that sunrise picture and just uh, bring it into your canvas. And so we're going to swap out the sky. The sky in, in this picture is fine, it's just kind of boring. So we're going to add a little bit of drama to it. So anytime that you add um, a new sky layer or new clouds or anything like that, you need to make sure that your horizons match up. So we have the horizon um, on this picture and the horizon on this picture. They need to be lined up for it to be believable. They need to be perfectly lined up. So you can change your opacity down um, to C. Um, for example, um, I think we need to rotate it just a little bit. Okay. So that's, that's pretty good right, right about there. They're lined up and uh, we're all ready to go. So once you have it lined up, what we're going to do is we're going to change the blend mode to multiply in this case. And uh, so there we go. So we got multiply. And so now our background is different. Now there's obviously some problems with it and we're going to clean that up. Um, so what I want to do is, first of all, we want to get rid of the sand and this grass in the foreground. So when we multiply it, we want to do a layer mask. And I'm just going to use a gradient tool right here and uh, just going to get rid of some of that right there. Okay. Let's actually bring down the horizon just a little bit. Okay. So we're going to fudge with the, the horizon just a little bit, but I think that'll be fine. Okay, now we have some problems with the model and everything and the, it's coming through and we'll take care of that in a minute, but I wanted to, to do this real quick. Now, uh, one problem you see, anytime you do a multiply on the, the cloud layer, it's going to uh, amplify all of the little cloud elements on the, the bottom layer. So you see all these little, um, these clouds right here, they, they are definitely showing up when you multiply it. So what I want to do is get rid of those and... Uh, so what I want to do is make them all white. So I'm going to make a um, selective color layer right here, right above the model layer. I'm going to go to my whites, and I'm going to pull the blacks all the way to the left, which makes the whites much brighter. So about like that. I don't want to go to, uh, we'll go about right there. That's fine. Now I did it a little bit too much right over here, so I'm just going to, fix that. There we go. And now it didn't get rid of all of them, so all I'm going to do to get rid of all of these little things is I'm just going to uh, make a new layer and just, just get pure white brush and just paint those out. Okay, so now she's on a completely white background, um, except for the, the, the rocks that she's setting on. So now if you go back to your, your sunrise layer, now that looks a lot better. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. And 
Let me try this. I'm going to soften that, that horizon up just a little bit. All right, so that's looking pretty good right there. All right, now let's go back to our original cloud layer like this one and bring this in. And what we're gonna do, um, same thing, you always need to have your horizons matched up. So this is um, taken in the mountains, but you can see the horizon. I'm gonna squeeze it in just a little bit like that. Our horizons match up and I'm gonna change it. Let's try multiply first and let's try overlay. I think I like overlay better. So we're gonna um, just change that to overlay. And then what we're gonna do, um, obviously there's mountains in the background. We don't want mountains here. So we want to mask those out like that. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good like that. Okay, so they're masked out. And now, here's one little problem we're having right here. You see on our, our sunrise layer, when we multiply it, you can see that it's the, the ocean is really dark right here, and then it's really white right here. That's because we masked out the rest of that, that picture. So here's a trick I like to use. Um, so let's go ahead and get rid of that, that mask for a second. So this is what your sunrise layer looks like. So it's going to multiply everything. It's going to multiply the, the dark blacks down here and the ocean. And we didn't want all of that masked in, so we, we, uh, or we didn't want all that multiplied, so we masked it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a color like right in here. And then since we're going to mask this out anyway, about right in here, I'm just going to go ahead and paint on the layer this color. That way when it multiplies down, it still keeps the same darkness for all of the ocean, but you don't see all those little details like the, the, the waves and the, the people and the grass and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and just do that right there. All right. Now, what we can do, instead of masking it out, we can just completely multiply that entire layer. There we go. And now all of it looks uniform because that same color was multiplied. And then let's add those clouds back in at the top. Okay, so that looks good. Now we need to clean up the model. So what is happening, if you zoom in, when you multiply anything over top of this, it's going to, it's going to add all of the the clouds and the colors, it's going to multiply that straight on the model. So what we can do to fix that, a lot of things, there's multiple things you could do, but we're going to try it this way. Um, first thing I want to do is just go ahead and select her out. So I'm just going to use a quick select tool. And this, this selection actually doesn't have to be perfect, so we're not going to do like a lasso or a, a pen tool or anything like that. So I'm just going to mask her out like that. There we go. I'm going to copy her, and I'm going to paste her, and we're going to put her right there. And so, this you don't want to do it quite like this, but what, what you want to do is you want to, see here, here's what she would look like if she was in front of it, but the problem is we're not getting that multiplied thing. So what you want to do is you want to select that layer so control click that selection we just made. And what we want to do is on, let's see if I can explain this. So we cut, let me back up a second. We cut her out. So we have her floating around right here. But we can't just put her right over top of it because that just looks really fake. So what we want to do is we want to make the selection. So control click her, just like that. And then what we want to do is make her invisible. But on this multiply layer, what we want to do is we want to fill all of her with that, that purplish color. So just fill that selection with that purplish color. 
And then when you have it like that, then you change it back to multiply. And there you go. So now so you can see what happened was that that part of her, the part of the, the, the sunrise that's going to be multiplied is actually that purplish color. So then when you multiply it, it multiplies it straight over the model. Now there are, there are a couple problems in there and you can kind of clean that up. So like right in here. But for the most part, it's a really cool trick that you can use um, so that you can multiply the clouds in and it doesn't mess up the model. Okay, so there we go. That looks good right there. And let's bring that those clouds back in. Okay, so just a couple more things I want to show you how to do. What we're going to do, this is on top of every layer. We're going to add some light effects. Actually, what we're going to do yeah, what we're going to do here is we're going to add some glows here. So see this, this yellowish orange color from the sun? We're going to draw a big old flare right here. So I'm just going to take a big soft brush and just draw a big orange glow right here. It's just a straight orange glow. Just like that. And then I'm going to change that blend mode to screen. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm going to do a layer on top of that one. A little bit more saturation here. And then I'm going to draw right there where the sun is hitting her arms. And we're going to change that to overlay. Okay, just like that. And let's do one more. We'll do one more screen layer. So we'll let's go back and do more like a yellowish color. And then we're gonna draw some really bright lights right there. Change it to screen. There we go. And let's go up even bigger. Okay, that looks good. Let's zoom out, see how we look. Okay. Let me get rid of some of this right here. So all we did was we just, we amplified the sun. We made it a little bit brighter. And uh, we got the, the that sun is kind of spilling, the light is kind of spilling out onto the model. Just like that. There we go. I think that looks pretty good right there. All right, I think that looks good. Now what we're going to do is just do a couple um, couple color adjustments. So what I'm going to do is um, we're going to do a, let's do selective color first. So I do like using selective color. This is on top of it, every layer. Go to your neutrals and let's play around with these colors. So your cyan is your first color. So if you pull it to the right, everything gets more blue. But if you pull it to the left, everything gets more red. So let's make this more like a sunrise picture. With a sunrise picture, as opposed to a sunset picture, is going to be a little bit cooler. You're going to have a little bit more um, some purples and some magentas. So let's let's make it a little bit cooler. So let's bring in some purples, and then if you go to your your yellow, if you go to the left. left of yellow would be blue actually so if you go this way it's yellow if you go this way it's blue so we'll do just a touch that way that's good and then see what we did was we made the entire picture a lot more cooler so we added some blues and some purples and, and stuff like that so i think that looks great the the thing is i don't want that yellow sun to be cool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mask out we're going to keep all of the cool layers, but I'm just going to mask out that sun. So the sun is still bright and yellow, but the rest of it is a little bit colder. All right, that looks good. And then let's do, um, let's try a gradient map. And let's try one of these and see how they work. So I really like using gradient maps. So you can, um, what you're going to do is you're going to overlay um, some of these colors and just see what kind of happens and so you can use the ones that are preset by Photoshop or you can make your own um, But I like seeing what happens when you do the gradient maps. 
I like that one. Kind of a yellow and orange and yellow. That looks pretty good. It's got a lot of colors going on when you do it like that. Okay. All right, I think we could keep going. Um, we could definitely do a lot more here, but I think that looks good right there. So let me go and show you before and after everything we've done. So let me do a big old group of all of the layers we just made. We'll call it edits. And so this is our after and this is our before. So just taking a couple other cloud pictures from other, uh, other places and just blending them in like I just showed you. Um, you can take this pretty much boring picture and then make a, a lot more interesting, more dramatic um, picture right here. So that's the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If you try this on your own, please share it with me. Um, please post it to our Facebook page or, or email me. Um, I'd love to see your creations and, and how you use these tricks and uh, just love to see what you can create. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video and check back soon. We got more coming and uh, just appreciate um, supporting our website and um, everything that we do. Thanks, guys.